All right, Kalen DeBoer is showing he can hang as Alabama's head coach. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day, and welcome back to Sharp Sports. And today, we got some Alabama recruiting news for y'all. Ever since Kalen DeBoer was handed the torch from longtime and legendary head coach Nick Saban, there have been a lot of questions surrounding Kalen DeBoer and how he was going to live up to that Alabama legacy. And while obviously we have to wait a couple more months before we can see the play on the field, there is one area that Kalen DeBoer could start early to really start to ease Alabama fans his minds and that is for Kalen DeBoer to continue to dominate recruiting for Alabama. And so far in the month of March, Kalen DeBoer has been doing just that. In the last week, Kalen DeBoer and the Alabama Crimson Tide have landed three four-star recruits, two of which being top 100 players that I want y'all to be able to take a look at because all my Alabama fans, y'all are going to need to know about these kids because once they get through their senior year, they're going to be right there in Tuscaloosa being the next superstars for the Crimson Tide. So all my Bama fans, leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications anytime anything happens around alabama football we're gonna keep you up to date with everything that's going on so guys hit that subscribe button turn your notifications and comment down below after watching all three of these players who are you guys most excited to see in that alabama red i want you guys to comment that down below enough of me talking let's jump into these three new alabama crimson tide recruits three two one Starting it off, Kalen DeBoer landed the ninth best athlete in the- Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Landed the ninth best athlete in the class and the seventh best player coming out of the state of Maryland. This is Zymir Smith. This kid just went crazy. Oh, wait, no, we gotta run this back. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for the juice like this. Like, the soon as this ball touches his hands, he is- Nope, and uh, Jay, gone, bye. I was not expecting that at all. Nah, this kid, he's got a he's got a different level of twitch to him. Like this kid, he's all twitched up. The stop, no, the stop start quickness is crazy. Okay, whether this so he's he's listed as an athlete, but he's also listed as a corner. So whether he plays wide receiver or he's playing corner, oh, give me that, thank you. We're going the other way with that. Oh no, this kid looks like he's just having some backyard backyard football fun. This kid looks like he knows how to make a play. Okay, if this is the type of players that Kalen DeBoer is recruiting, I'm super excited to see what Alabama's recruiting game is looking like in the class of 2025, because. That's going to be his first full recruiting class. It's 2025, so that's the first one that every Alabama fan should really be paying attention to. And Zamir Smith, he's starting, he started off hot. This kid, he is out here just torching teams. Yeah, no, he looks like Tyree Kilroy out there. Like, he's so much faster than everybody else on the field. Next up, Bama landed the 14th best defensive lineman and four-star recruit Antonio Coleman. He is 6'2 and 100, not 100, 285 pounds. He's coming out of Sarah Land High School, which is where Ryan Williams, the five-star wide receiver that Alabama got in the class of 2024, came from. So, this kid, Alabama knows how to recruit from Sarah Land. But no, this kid, he just got such an explosive first step. That is disgusting. That first step is crazy. Like literally, he he is beating the center to the snap. Boop, nope. Rip over the top, just bully, and he, he's that's pretty much like a triple team. Still finds a way to blow all that up. Antonio Coven, I see you out here. Yeah, that his his first step is literally like a track like a track first step. He is so explosive. He stays so low coming out uh, out of his stance. Antonio Coleman is giving he's he's giving a lot of Aaron Donald vibes, just like a big body, a little bit smaller defensive lineman. I mean, as far as height wise, weight wise, he's a perfect size, 6'2", 285 of just bully ball. Like this kid has got such an explosive first step. I, I really want to see what he looks like at Alabama. Let him continue to develop. And guys, he's a junior in this film. Like, what, wait until he's done with his senior year. Like, he's still got some growing and explosiveness to gain. Antonio Colvin. I, so, so far, I'm not mad at Kalen DeBoer's recruits. Like, these, these two guys that we've seen so far are just absolute stunts. Yeah, I, I think we can all say Alabama's going to be in good hands. 
trust because all this NIL, these players could go to any school that they wanted to. And Kalen DeBoer is showing that Alabama's still the school to be at. And last, but certainly not least, in the inspiration for this video, Kalen DeBoer and the Alabama Crimson Tide just landed yesterday. The sixth best wide receiver in the class of 2025, in four-star recruit, in the 51st best recruit in the class of 2025, Derek Smith. He is six foot one and 185 pounds. And as you can see, this kid is just a absolute playmaker. Like you, you are about to watch this highlight tape and just be thoroughly impressed by just how complete of an athlete that he is. Boom, sit him down. That's what I like to see. Keep going, swoop. Yep, make a guy miss and uh, yeah, swoop. Bro, the change of direction is phenomenal. I think he's just, I, yeah, I was about to say, I think he's just jogging right there. I was about to say the top end speed is leaving some, some room for it to be desired, but I think he was just jogging right there, to be honest. Ankles, yeah, yeah no, the, his ability to be able to make a guy miss is elite. Yeah, as soon as I saw that Derek, I, I was like, okay. I was like, okay, they got Zemir Smith. All right, not bad. And I was like, okay, they got Antonio Coleman. And then I was, as soon as they got Derek Smith, I was like, okay, I got to make a video. Because Alabama, Kalen DeBoer, a lot of questions are going to be around whether or not he's going to be able to recruit at the same level. That was nasty. As as my guy Nick Saban did. He put the foot in the ground. Poof, ankles. Just got him. I think Kalen DeBoer is showing that really the, the big area is going to be when he lands his first five-star recruit. Derek Smith might be his first five-star recruit. If he just continues to go up these up, up these recruiting rankings, he's only, he's only about 20 spots away from being a five-star recruit. But as soon as he lands, he's going to need to show that he can land two plus five-star recruits year in and year out if he wants to recruit at the level that, that Nick Saban was at Alabama. Yo, his ability, to, he just is an athlete. Like, he's just a flat-out athlete. You get the ball in his hands, he's going to make something special happen. I can see why he's ranked as a five star, as a four star wide receiver. And he's ranked so highly. Like he is just his upside is elite. So those are the three recruits that just signed within the past week to Kalen DeBoer's new Alabama Crimson Tide. I want you guys to comment down below. How impressed are you guys by, guys by these three recruits? Because I've seen a lot of, don't get me wrong, obviously there's been a lot of great recruiting talent that's come through Alabama. But for Kalen DeBoer's first year, I'm not mad at these players. I really was extremely impressed by Antonio Smith and Zaire, and Zaire Smith. Or Antonio Coleman and Zaire Smith. I think that Derek Smith, he's got a lot of upside, but I like players that are a little bit more refined coming out of high school. And I think that Zaire Smith and Antonio Coleman specifically are going to be more plug and play guys. Whereas a Derek Smith, he might take a year or two more to develop and really get his game. But he's a guy that he has, he could be a first round draft pick just off of the talent that he has alone. Like that's how good that this, that kid is. But I want you guys to comment down below your guys' thoughts. Cause I was thoroughly impressed by these three recruits and these are hard commit recruits. Like these aren't guys that are projected to maybe go to Alabama. No, these are, these are guys that have said, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm planning on going to Alabama when National Signing Day comes around. So, all my Bama fans, comment your thoughts down below. Leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. Anything Alabama news drops, we're going to be keeping you up to date over here at Sharp Sports. I love and appreciate each and every single last one of y'all. If nobody has told you this today, you matter. You bring a ton of positive energy to this world, and you are making a bigger impact on more people's lives than you will ever be able to realize. If you're ever feeling down, if you're ever having a hard time believing that, know that you can always call upon Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is all of our Lord and Savior, whether we, whether we acknowledge it or not, whether we've denounced God in the past, whether we've accepted him our whole life. Jesus Christ is the true king of this world. Never forget that. Always know that. You can see... Oh, there's possibilities of war, oh, the financial crisis. Oh, the, there's all this chat that's going to always be going around, constantly just trying to scare you and just f dominate your mind. Know that you can bring peace to your mind. There's a verse in the Bible that says, cast all my cares upon me because I care for you greatly. That is Jesus talking to all of us saying, cast all of your cares onto him. 
because of how much he cares about us. So not only did he die for all of our sins, but he's also telling us to cast all of our cares upon him because that's how much Jesus loves us. I said this in another video, but really I want you guys to think about this. Jesus died for us before he ever knew us. I want you guys to sit and think about that. I love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.